Hi guys, my name is Fire Fire and welcome back to a brand new episode of Timberborn. Now, I am going to make a quick announcement before we start this episode. So I do upload these episodes once every other day, unless there's a problem, then I normally a day late. But I try to upload these episodes once every other day. Now, that leaves a lot of room during the week to maybe do something else as well. So I may be thinking of doing a slow, very, very slow, maybe one episode a week, Dyson Sphere series, because they're going to do a big update soon. It's coming up to the Chinese New Year and they're doing a big update around that. And I would like to jump into that. They unlocked achievements, which when I first played it, I didn't, um, it wasn't available then. So it'd be good to go through a playthrough and do every single achievement and all that stuff. So if you see a Dyson Sphere um, series popping up every now and then, don't fret. They're still going to be timber porn as usual. It's just a, uh, and I play a little bit of Dyson Sphere as well. And if you like that kind of stuff as well, make sure you come and watch it. It's going to be fun. Last time I played it, it was absolutely amazing. Anyways, let's get back into this episode. Now, what are we done last episode? Last episode, we made this food production area, which is going pretty well. Look at this. We've got tons of food and we've got a backlog of potatoes and we're making a backlog of wheat flour. So we've got the patisseries. We're sometimes hitting 15 um, well-being, level of well-being. Don't know why we're on 14 now. Maybe because of the shrines or the campfire. Labor monuments. I've got quite a few of them around, to be honest with you. But yeah, so this episode, I'm going to get some more potatoes going. Because we've got too much of a backlog of that. Uh, chestnuts are not too bad to be honest with you let's see the grill yeah it's not too bad they've still got space these have still got space as well maybe there's a backlog because no nope, it's full of potatoes and full of chestnuts i don't know why there's a backlog but we're going to put some up here because this space is quite empty and this is still part of the food district so 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 let's get the grill here and here and that is going to make us some more potatoes. Maybe some more chestnuts. I am not sure just yet. Let's get some decorations up here. Um, what can we do? We can put some bushes because we love bushes here. We can put a bench. Give them a bit of a break. And some of these beaver statues. Actually, that's a bit of bush here. Let's get another bench. All right, cool. Oh, they put that quick. All right, do I not have any unemployed people? Oh, 12 children. Wow, a lot of people died out. Um, okay, let's put good potatoes and let's put chestnuts for now. But I may change that to good potatoes again. Cool, I think, I think we can kind of open up another house. The only problem I get now is that this water goes down pretty fast which makes all of this die out. So we may need to put a way to block some of the water to keep it here, to irrigate it. That may be a thing right now. Or we can blow up this area, let some water in here. And then that will self irrigate. And that can also, cause someone did a, made a really good point of I need to, why can't they get that? Oh, because of these two. I need to, I really need to plan on how I'm going to transfer power around. Because it's going to get pretty difficult. And I don't want to keep doing it like that. So there could be a way if we, no, I wouldn't pull it through there anyway. But if we start making sort of tunnels, then it might help with putting power underneath it at some point. So you know what, let's get some dynamites going on here. And let's get this place a little bit more irrigated. Nope, don't want to do the bridge. Don't want to do the bridge. I do it like that. No, 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 no. I see you sneakily making me want to delete the bridge. All right, let's do that. And we've got a drought coming in, so this will be the perfect time to test it. In fact, we don't want this one here. 
So once we manage to test that, this is all out of all. Ooh, does that mean I don't have any dynamites? Yes, okay, let's do this. That should allow them to get to that. Okay, that is the one problem. What's in here? Planks. Okay, that's not too bad. But I will need planks to get um, the, the platforms done. So, that may be a thing right now. Let's get the platforms done. Hopefully they'll have the materials. They can take it out of the workshops. And why they do that, we'll focus on this area. So this area is going to be the entertainment district. Now, I want to try and make something like a double leveled entertainment district. I want to do it around here, but then I want to make either like a staircase that goes up, up the waterfall, and then they can come out here and there's more stuff up here for them to do or something like that, but we're gonna have to figure it out together. We're gonna have to figure it out together. So first of all, should I put this straight on top? I could put it straight like that. That'll be a bit too high, so I'll need to bring it down a bit, which is absolutely fine. And all this level is gonna be need to be pretty much the same level okay so we're gonna need a lot of dynamite i'm gonna level out this area a little bit and uh, we'll see where we go from there okay so we've kind of cleared out this area now and i've just realized another thing look at all this dead wheat because the water runs through here but that gets used up quite a lot and stops so there's no water there so what i could actually do same thing I've done here, but with this bit here. So let's let's try that. So we need to do that. I mostly didn't need to leave the stairs. <laughs> oh, sometimes, sometimes my actions are questionable. Why they get that down there? Now what I'm going to do? I'm going to do one explosion here. So we do that. So the water can come in and then my friends my friends we're gonna go one deep here so it makes a little pool there of a block of water which would last us for about 15 days before it evaporates and on normal there's no drought longer than 15 days so that is absolutely fine and then we're gonna do that do this number and then make some stairs again because we accidentally deleted our ones. Well, not accidentally, it was totally on purpose, but still, we don't want to talk about it, do we? All right, so now I've done this little bit here because, yeah, that is in line. I thought that wasn't in line then. So we're going to make it go up a little bit. So I don't mind that. Like I said, I like the different sort of levels. Then we're going to go here, here. And I don't want to go into that pot because hmm, do I want to do something here? Well, because I want to make some sort of stairway up the waterfall. Now we could go up here. I did delete the trees here just in case I want to go that direction. If I put one here, that kind of fits perfectly. And it's one up as well. That might be a little solution there. I'm gonna leave that like that for now. And we'll see how that works. So to get up there, they're gonna need halfway here. What is it gonna be? Is it gonna be one of these? Yes, it is gonna be one of them. The stairway, and that should lead them perfectly up to the entertainment district and I do want to make an access point from here somehow so there's a chance you might get rid of some wheat which 
I'm not too fussed about it, to be honest with you. I'm not too worried about it. So now we can put the stairs there. And we can get, like we did here, loads of wooden planks or wooden platforms to help give more space. All right, we can actually do the same here as well and bring it up a level. Cool, I like that. I like that a lot. I am gonna have to think about how I'm gonna get power through. <laughs> this is gonna be a fun little task, but we will get there. Power can come last, we'll, we'll arrange things as we need. You know, I'm gonna pause it so they don't build too much and we have time to think about what we're doing. All right, so a stairway going up. It's gonna to need to go, we go something like this. I was actually hoping actually to not be fully against the waterfall or well, some part of it anyway. I would want it to be something like this, right? And then we can do that. So the waterfall comes down into this gap. And maybe, just maybe, we can put some benches. Like this. We can put a pathway here and we can put some benches so they can watch the waterfall, which would be absolutely lovely. Like that, get some bushes. Okay. But then they're gonna need, they are actually gonna need to go into the waterfall. I wonder if I can make a stairway in here. That would take a lot of um, passing though. That would take a hell of a lot of passing to go up. But hopefully if we cut that across, it shouldn't be too bad. But it is quite tall. Let's stick with the waterfall for now. We may change it. Okay, so I've designed two different ways. We could go up like this. But the only problem with this, right, is that it blocks the wood wall. I don't think it will look nice. So then I decided to do this. Now, the reason why I like this one better is because here we can make the power go up as well. Maybe using this or maybe making another shaft here to power the stuff up here. And it em empties this area so they can actually look at a beautiful waterfall. So I am actually going to go with this one. I think I think that's the best idea right now. And that means we can delete a lot of this stuff. Um, that's it. Actually, I want to keep that because you know what we're going to do? We're going to use the limited resources we have or design resources we have and put two people statues like that. Doesn't that look amazing? Tell me that doesn't look amazing. All right, so we can actually start building that because I like that. I like that, I'm happy with that. Now, we need to know, do I do I put another platform? That That is the thing. Should I put another platform like there? That means I'd have to have another one right here. You know what? That's not a bad idea. We'll have to delete this though. Which is fine. It's only one. And we'll have to get some dynamite on this one, I believe. And we'll have to blow down on that one. Which is not too bad. Let's actually make this a priority. We want to finish the foundations first. Now, I do hope they have good pathing. Good enough pathing. 
be out there, but hopefully when we get this connected, it shouldn't be too bad. Okay, we've got that. Detonate. That. Ooh. Ooh. I see. Okay, we can plant more there. That's fine. Okay, that's fine. We can blow that up and plant that on a lower level. I'm okay with that. And then this one still needs to go down a bit. But do I want it to go too down, too much down? Yeah, I want to keep it the same level. Why not? I'm, I'm really confused if I should or not. <laughs> I'm really confused if I should or not. Let, let's do it. Let's do it. Let's make that decision. All right, so I'm going to get these two platforms in and then we're going to see how it goes. Okay, so we've got that in. Do you know what I'd really love to see in this game? Some sort of a uh, lift. That would be great. So you don't have to make a long, steep stairs. But well, I guess there's no plans in for that at the moment. I don't know. I haven't checked the suggestion at the moment and see what they're planning and all that, all that stuff. At. So I don't know what's going on at the moment, but it would be nice. We do need to get down here somehow. Now, I don't know if I should make like a little staircase here. It can be like that. And that can be like that. But it does take up a lot of space if I do that. Mm, we will deal with that in a sec. <laughs> we will deal with that. I'm going to leave that there as a placeholder. But I am liking the way it's turning out to be. We do need to delete these and make our way up here. But what do we want on the lower level? Let's look at leisure. There we go. Mud baths would be nice. Would you want mud baths at the top or the bottom? Mm. Not sure. It'd be nice to see the sunset, but then it'd also be nice to look at a waterfall. We've got Lidos. Lidos we can put in here, I guess. And maybe one in here. I'm not sure. It depends on how much water I need. I may put more water pumps in there. Um, And then we've got rooftop terraces and we've got carousel, which takes 400 power. I think, I think all the power stuff should be down here. And then they can have the rooftop terraces up here and look over everything while they're having a, a drink of water or whatever their favorite beverages as boobers are. All right, so and as you can see, I've put another stairway here just to add extra options. Let's get that stuff in. Let's see how big this carousel is. Oh, we can get an observatory up there. Yep, yep, I like that. Rooftop terraces and observatories. We are. Oh, that is big. That is a lot bigger than I remember. And just like that, it is all done. Now we have. Oh, we have beavers on the carousel. Look at that. Why does this keep going when there's no one on it? This. Should, I wish this would turn off so it doesn't take too much power. And we've got the mud baths, which are amazing. And 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 I've sorted out the electrical problem. I've made it go. Under here, all the way across here, and up to the top here. Now, for some reason, I didn't get any notifications about comments, and I saw them while recording this. So let's let's address some because there were some really really cool comments there. One of them was to make this waterway a bit more wider so we can make water food, which is a, which is a really good idea because I do want to make some water food. But now that I've put this power here. I feel like there's not enough space. So that's giving me an idea. I'm gonna, at some point, we're gonna open this up and make the water food here. We're gonna make this a little, a little bit wider and shallower, if possible. So maybe here, maybe it can go up. Maybe we can make water food go all the way up. Also, I got another comment about 
um, lowering the riverbed to the height of the floodgates so it keeps the water in. Now, that is another good idea, <laughs> but because I saw that coming a bit too late, I already started with this little contraption here to make water stay inside without being able to be seen. So that is a definitely a good idea, but I think we're okay for now. I think we're okay for now. We may have to lower the riverbed up here a little bit and put some floodgates here so we can keep this area green. So that's definitely a good idea. And, and, something I didn't see. Last comment. These water pumps. So this goes two down, but the next water pumps are three down. So there's going to be a block of water that's not getting used. And that means it won't ever reach these bottom ones. So, 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 this has got to change. But what I'm going to do, literally, is put another, maybe four or three, in the middle of both of these two. So there's a constant flow of water going down. So let's, let's quickly do that now. Right, with that all done, now they have this water. Once that goes two blocks down, they can go to this one. Even, I think, one block down, they can start using this. And then that will drain all the water, enough for them to go to the underwater pumps over there. So it's got different levels. I think that's pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Now, 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 now. We need to start looking at this top bit for observatories and rooftops. I did make a new bridge here because it just helps with pathing. They can pretty much get the whole area. I think by the end of this, it will only take one district, which would be pretty cool. I, I, that's what I wanted to try and do. And I'm glad that we actually get to that point. But, 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 this is all I've got time for, unfortunately. I do have to go and we're going to have to do this second part on the next episode. In the next episode, I want to get a lot more done. In the next episode, I want to get this second part done and maybe a temple area up here because we've got to use a lot of the ground and I don't want to destroy a lot of it. So we're going to be using shrines, temples and campfires and making ways to get up there so the beavers can be happy and spiritual. So guys, thank you so much for joining me on this episode. We now have a fun place for the beavers to relax. We're hitting pretty decent morale at the moment. Um, there could be a bit more, like we need more shrine and some temples. We're going to get some Lidos in the next episode. And yeah, pretty much just a few of these and these should be done in the next episode as well. So we're pretty much going to fill out most of it apart from the water food, which we're going to eventually get, I think we can do it, and books. Books will come a bit later. We've got the book production. We just need to turn it on when we get a little bit more wood. So guys, thank you so much. I hope you have an amazing day. And I'll see you in the next one. Peace. <laughs>